Hello, my name is Fred Gagnon and I'm the curator at Magic Wings Butterfly Conservatory and Gardens in South Deerfield, Massachusetts. Uh, I've been here for 15, 14 years, uh, almost 15. Uh, I've been doing butterflies or raising butterflies since I was three or four years old. I was told, I don't remember that far back. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the parts of a butterfly and why butterflies are so delicate and how butterflies are not as delicate as a lot of people believe them to be. Um, I have a butterfly here. This is an Idea Lucono. It's a rice paper butterfly from the Philippines. Um, I'm going to uh, describe the body parts. As you can see, the little legs flailing. These are four legs that you can see. Two of them are tucked up and used for sensory. Some butterflies, called brushfoot butterflies, have two extra small legs that are tucked underneath their, right behind their head, and those are used to tell whether or not they've landed on the right plant to lay their eggs on, their host plant. This butterfly has a broken wing, which I'm going to fix in a minute. The wings are made of chitin, which is a rigid chemical that uh, makes up all exoskeletons of butterflies and, in and other insects. Um, the wings have no feeling in them at all. It would be kind of cruel to have nerve endings nerve endings in the wing of a butterfly because the wings are actually meant to have predators bite at their wings rather than their body. A lot of butterflies will have an eye spot or a tail. A luna moth is a good example. Those tails when a luna moth's flying are creating more vibration than the rest of the, the moth. Moths are eaten by bats, so bats a lot of times will grab the tails and the moth will be able to get away and the moth can fly just fine without those tails. A butterfly can fly just fine with less than half of its wing in most cases, so since they live a pretty short time, if they lose some of their wing, they can still go about laying eggs, mating, and reproducing, which is what a butterfly is out to do. Um, this butterfly has broken its wing to a point where it can no longer fly, so I'm going to put a new wing on it. I'm going to use a different species of butterfly wing. This is the blue morpho. Uh, butterflies have scales on their wings, so I'm going to rub a little bit of the scales off of this wing so that the glue will actually stick to it. And I'm going to rub a little bit of scales off of the donor wing. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. I'm going to wait a minute for the glue to dry. Now I'm holding this butterfly very, very gently. And uh, it actually has no problem with me holding it. And that's it. So this is the butterfly's first flight with its new wing. In general, it's not always a good plan to be touching butterflies. These butterflies are very delicate and I touch them, but I touch them in certain ways that, don't, that doesn't hurt them. But in general, I don't usually touch them unless I have to do a wing fix or I have to move them for their own safety. Um, in nature and at, especially in butterfly conservatories, it's a good idea to just look and not touch because butterflies have very delicate body parts. If you pick them off of a plant, they actually hold on with like, they have little anchors on their feet and they hold on tighter when they're being picked off of something and a lot of times it'll break those little hooks off their feet and then they can't hold on anymore. So even though you might think that you're being very gentle, even I can sometimes damage a butterfly even after all the years that I've held butterflies. <music>